What's going on guys? Randall here at Grunt Proof. Today, we're talking about plate carriers. Let's go. So this is the LA Police Gear Atlas plate carrier. We are currently grunt proofing this. So far it's doing pretty well. Over the last couple of years, I've noticed a major trend going toward the plate carrier and combat load carrying systems. I know a lot of paintballers picked them up to carry their stuff, especially the airsoft guys and those like military games, whatever you want to call them. They're really big into this combat gear. I've also noticed a bunch of preppers are starting to buy them test them out play with their capabilities and i know guys who are just basic outdoorsmen going camping and stuff for some reason they're asking me about plate carriers over my military career i've had plenty of opportunities to use many different types of plate carriers in most soldiers opinion a plate carrier stomps the army's iba and iotvs any day for some reason the army started going back to making us walk in bomb disposal suits i mean the iotv is an absolute joke where I was, we were the only guys who were allowed to wear plate carriers. All the grunts and scouts were wearing those giant clunky IOTVs. Those things weigh about 40 to 50 pounds fully loaded. And if you consider the terrain we were in, we were up there in Wardak province, mountains 12,000 feet and higher. And even the ones that were in pretty good shape, they just, they couldn't move. It was ridiculous. So in a military combat setting, plate carriers are the way to go, especially just for carrying your stuff. We're talking about lightness, freedom of movement, comfort. You cannot go wrong with a plate carrier. In the civilian world, however, I don't understand the love affair with plate carriers. I know a lot of the preppers, patriots, constitutionalist guys, they're big into it for just protection against tyranny. I'm a total patriot, 100% pro-constitutional guy. Besides the 16th, we can repeal that one. I just want to lay out a couple things for you guys to think about. The Marines first started wearing Kevlar flak jackets in Vietnam. That was in response to the IEDs they were facing, driving around in convoys and everything, landmines, just getting absolutely destroyed. Later, the army picked it up, but it was never mandatory for them to have to wear them. As a matter of fact, from what I've read over the years, most soldiers chose not to wear them. A lot of infantry units didn't even issue them. Sorry for the Marines who were forced to wear that crap in the jungle. In Desert Storm, we started seeing the Kevlar flak jackets with guys wearing their LCE and LBEs over them. We didn't start to see plate carriers until 93 Black Hawk Down era. And then of course, going into Iraq and Afghanistan. By the time I showed up in 03 heading to Iraq, we had the IBAs, the Woodland version, and it was mandatory. So basically every time you roll out, you have to have your gear on. And in line units, it's usually the same thing across the board. So if not everybody has access to a plate carrier, no one is allowed to wear them. Come 2005 in Ramadi, we're wearing the side plates and we have to wear the collars and the groin protector. Our gunners had these giant sleeves to protect their shoulders. They had like bomb resistant visors they would wear over their eye pro. I honestly always laughed because we just, we look like a bunch of robot alien stormtroopers running around with all this crap on. And then every time we took contact, especially in the summer, you could count on at least 10% casualties from heat casualties because guys just could not move in the crap and would just pass out. This is why just guys wearing man dresses and flip-flops could outflank us and outmaneuver us and more importantly, escape before anybody could even capture them. These guys are running on little to no food. They're not as well fed as your average fat soldier coming off the fob. And honestly, they could just run circles around us. If we didn't have our air support, in many cases, we would be doomed. So with all that being said, I don't understand the plate carrier point unless you're in a city or mount environment, an urban environment. Let's just go down the prepper route for a minute. I'm out here in the mountains and something goes down and I have to defend my property or go on the run and be prepared to fight, whatever. I would see a plate carrier as just a simple load carrying vest. If I'm running around in the woods, especially on foot, I'm probably going to dump the plates because in a woodland, wide open environment, you're most likely not going to be exposed to bombs or blasts where you got to worry about shrapnel. All you got to worry about is getting shot. And for a lot of the soft dudes downrange, that's why they went to the lightest, smallest plate carriers possible. 
because when your biggest concern is getting shot and then you put on all this bomb disposal crap limiting your speed at which you can move well then you're kind of setting yourself up to move slower and therefore have a higher chance of getting shot i have chest rigs i have load carrying vests and everything Sometimes I like to do some PT in a plate carrier. If we're talking about a total woodland environment and I'm not going into urban terrain, I'm gonna leave the plates at home. I might not even bother with the plate carrier. I'll just go with a simple LBV or a modern LCE so I could carry all my crap. All the outdoor clothing most of us wear have tons of pockets. You can get waist belts, battle belts, all that stuff. So for me personally, and thinking from a tactical standpoint in the woods, I really don't see the point in loaded down plate carriers maybe in the future they will improve plates to where they can be a lot lighter but until then i wouldn't even bother that's just my two cents something for you guys to think about i hope you enjoyed this one thanks for sticking with me let me know what you guys think about plate carriers down below make sure you like and subscribe and until the next video i will see you guys in the outdoors take care of yourselves